All right, so we're back. So got the brush. I'm gonna use a little bit of my Formula 18 mousse. This is to make it full. And listen, you wanna be able to use volumizing mousse, um, root mousse, right? I want something to direct these bangs. I want, you know, her hair is so stubborn. So we want something that's gonna actually make it stay the way we want it to stay. Okay, the smaller the brush, the more curl, the bigger the brush, the less curl. So I'm gonna try it actually with more curl. And people ask me the, the name of them. This is called Heat Pro. All right, and the other one is called Ceramic Ion. Right, that's definitely like, you know, it doesn't really want to be blow dried. However, you know, when, when it's a real person, just so you know, <laughs> you could also take this piece right up here and you could actually like, let's just say, because this hair falls down her face, you're going to pull this forward and you're going to let it go around and then you're going to push it over. Okay. So like the whole thing could be pushed over like that. So I'm going to try to do it, but it's like, sticky because of the stuff i probably shouldn't have put the mousse in there i forgot because this is not real hair yeah All right, so it's starting to work a little bit, but all right, the other solution is this, that they're like, oh, and you know, people know how to do their own bangs pretty good if um, if you cut them right. So I would say, you know, let, let's just say it was just still hanging too much in her face, you know, cause she has such a strong um, forward calic that it is gonna be there. I would probably do a straight across and uh, bang like that. So that's basically, listen, humans, don't have have anything perfect, right? So it's like, you don't have it perfect. If somebody has an idea in their mind, but their hair won't do that, do you understand? You have to know you're not a genie. You're not a magician. You're a hairstylist. You have to go with what they have. And if that doesn't look good, then you figure out something else. You're like, all right, let's try just a straight across bang. And this way it'll just fall really good and it won't be hanging in her face. Annoying, 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 hard to blow dry. You know, if she has such a bed calic like that. All right, so now I would take it like right here in the middle. And of course I'm gonna soften that, you know. Much better, oh my gosh. So much better. Don't fight against what you can't make better. Yep, and now I'm gonna do this side, and I, I do it at that little bit on the slant. I'm lifting them a little bit, get a little elevation, and then I'm just gonna point cut downward. Perfect. Much better, that would work. And then I'll just blow dry them down. And of course you have to make them a tiny bit shorter because you don't want them hanging in their face like that, right? So you could either take a thinning shear or you just take it up 
and soften that line. Okay, and this side too. And this side right here. I'll show you what it looks like down. And listen, you could always take less, you know, if you're afraid. Okay, look at how pretty. But sometimes you have to figure out how a bang will work better on them, you know? Like right now, you know, I just put mousse in it and I kind of dried it one way and then I'm trying to dry it another way. So, you know, hair is much more flexible. Mannequin hair is not, but that would be really cute. I feel like that would be the best style for her because of her calic. Now let's blow dry this one. Right, she's got a much softer hair and it's real hair. So it'll be a lot easier. Let me tell you, if you could do a mannequin head and it's so hard and difficult, let me tell you, you'll become an expert at bangs because you need to practice. You need practice, practice, practice always makes improvement. And more practice, practice, practice makes progress. And more practice, practice makes perfect. So that's the thing, you'll learn I mean, I just have people that just come in just to run in to get their bangs done because they're like, I can't find anybody that does bangs. You know, it's like simple, but it seems, you know, that people just don't know how to do them. All right, so this is just a fine little piece. That was a lot thicker. So always start less and then work on it until you get to where you want. You know, and that's a bang there. And I'm gonna do her top. I didn't do her top the last time, but I will just to show you guys. much better so that is blow drying her her whole top and then leaving the rest curly you know it just kind of goes right with her hair and then i would formula 18 it you know if you got natural body like that man use it like use that natural body and make it beautiful all right guys this is coach kimmy i hope that you enjoyed these tips and tricks on bangs and i have other videos about bangs too but We'll do some more and listen, it's important to practice. And then once you do it, you think, okay, what would I have done different? When you're doing it on mannequin heads, it's much easier to learn from it without making the mistakes, right? So I would probably do a little less next time, right? Because she's got such a thick calic, I probably do about that much. Um, that would be like her side. So I would have left that out. So, you know, it's about learning. That's what I love keep on learning keep on growing and remember you're a winner you've always been a winner and you'll always be a winner god bless you guys and have a great day